Pagsilamin kayo sa Panginoon. Aleluya! Pagsilamin sa Panginoon. Tulihin, tulihin ang kanyang pangalan. Ipanalang kita ayan ang tulog In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We gather around the table of the Lord as one family. On the sixth Sunday of Easter, we beg for the grace that we may truly keep the Lord's commandments and be its guide in our lives. And so let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries.
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. God, that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy, which we, keep, which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that what we relive in remembrance, we may always hold to in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. 
A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip. When they heard it and saw the signs he was doing, for unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed or crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. Now when the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent them Peter and John who sent down and prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Spirit, for it had not yet fallen upon any of them. They had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of His name. Proclaim His glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let all on earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God, His tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they passed on foot. Therefore, let us rejoice in him. He rules by his might forever. Now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me, blessed be God who refused me not, my prayer or his kindness. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts. Always be ready to give an explanation to anyone who asks you 
for a reason for your hope, but do it with gentleness and reverence, keeping your conscience clear so that when you are maligned, those who defame your good conduct in Christ may themselves be put to shame. For it is better to suffer for doing good, if that be the will of God, than for doing evil. For Christ also suffered for sins once, the righteous for the sake of the unrighteous, that he might lead you to God. Put to death in the flesh, he was brought to life in the spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. loves me will keep my word, says the Lord, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always. The Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot accept, because it neither sees nor knows him. But you know him, because he remains with you, and I will be in you. I will not leave, I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me. But you will see me, because I live, and you will live. On that day you will realize that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. And whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Kapag umaalis ho tayo ng bahay at mawawala tayo ng may katagalan, kasabay ho nung pag-alis ay paghahabilin. Mga dapat ayusin, mga dapat bantayan, mga dapat bayaran, no? kapag yung anak yung may iwan sa bahay, no? tiyak yun na yung magulang yung maghahabilin. No? Hindi ko na lang po alam kung sino ang mas madaming habilin, yung nanay ba o yung tatay. Sometimes we can be assured of when, when they will return. Kung may return ticket, alam natin kung kailan babalik. Pero kapag sinabi nila na basta babalik kami, Tiyak na may katagalan yon at hindi natin alam kung kailan sila babalik. We hear Jesus in our gospel in a similar tone. Jesus was giving hints that he will be leaving his disciples. 
But he assures them they will never be alone. That he will be sending someone to guide them and to strengthen them. Pero ano po yung habili ni Jesus? If you love me, you will keep my commandments. As simple as that. But what does he mean when he asks us to keep his commandments? When we keep something, it means that it is something that we value. Kapag tinago natin ang isang bagay, ibig sabihin mahalaga yon. Kapag may binigay sa atin ang isang minamahal, no, gano man kaliit yan, yak na pahalagahan natin yan. Itatago natin yan. Bakit? Kasi gano man kaliit yan, ramdam natin yung pagmamahal ng taong iyon dahil dun sa binigay niya sa atin. We keep something because we value something. Naalala ko ho no, 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 minsan nagkukwentuhan kami ng aking kaibigan no? dahil nung medyo bata-bata pa ako, ayokong nagbibit-bit ng payong. Kahit umuulan ng malakas, susugurin ko yung ulan, mabasa man ako, wala akong pakialam. Kasi ayoko magbit-bit ng payong. Masyadong malaki. Hindi kasi sa bulsa. At nung mag-exchange gift kami, at ako ang nabunot niya, ang regal niya sa akin, payong. Pero hindi lang basta payong, maliit na payong. Yung kasya sa bulsa, yung madaling bitbitin, yung pwedeng isingit sa bag. At pinahalagahan ko yon dahil narinig niya at naalala niya yung kwento ko na ayaw ko magbitbit ng payong. Pero naalala niya rin na ayaw niyang mabasa ako sa gitna ng ulan. It is something that we value. We keep something because we value something. And when we value something, it means that it is something that make us feel loved. Pero kapag walang dating sa atin yung isang bagay, madali lang ho natin maisantabi. Minsan, di ba, may mga taong nagtatanong, anong ginawa na? Anong ginawa mo dun sa regalo ko? Nasaan na yung regalo ko? Minsan, pamimigay natin o tatapon lang natin kasi walang dating sa atin. At kapag tinanong sa atin nung nagregalo, hindi agad-agad natin masabi kung sa natin nailagay. Ay, nandyan lang ginagamit ko. Pero sa loob-loob natin, pinamigay na natin, tinapon na natin. Because for some people, giving gifts is an act of love for them. And the moment we keep or value those gifts, they also feel love in return. And that is the first meaning why Jesus is asking us to keep His commandments. Why? Because commandments are not easy to keep. Do we easily value commandments? Pinapahalagahan ho ba natin yung mga utos? Huwag no? niyo hong sasabihin sa akin na pinapahalagahan ho natin niya. No? Kasi sa totoong buhay, hindi ho natin pinapahalagahan ng mga utos. Sa totoong buhay, ang mga utos sinusuway. Kapag sinabi ng magulang sa anak, umuwi ka ng alas 9, alas 10 uuwi yan. O kaya, kapag tinawagan na o tinext na, dun lang uuwi. Sa kalsada, yung batas trapiko, kailangan may enforcer para masigurado na, sin- na sinusunod yung batas trapiko. Kaya, pag oras ng gabi, dun maraming aksidente. Kasi, dun maraming, hindi sumunus- dun, dun, dun maraming hindi sumusunod sa batas trapiko. Kasi, walang nagbabantay, walang nanghuhuli. Commandments are never easy to keep because there is a feeling that it controls us. Commandments are never easy to keep because there is a feeling that our freedom is being limited. But keeping commandments 
are the ultimate test of love for us. It is the simplest way that we can show our love for our beloved. Kapag yung anak umuwi sa tamang oras, sana hindi dahil sa takot na mapapagalitan o masisigawan ng magulang. Pero dahil mahal niya yung mga magulang niya at ayaw niya silang mag-alala kapag nasa labas, na, kapag nasa labas pa ng, ora, ng bahay, dis oras na ng gabi. Kapag sinusunod natin yung batas trapiko, hindi lang sana dahil takot tayong mahuli o takot tayong magmulta. Pero dahil pinapahalagahan natin yung mga kapwa natin sa daan. Obeying traffic rules does not only guarantee us that we will not be paying any fines. It is also an act of charity to those who meet on the, to those who we meet on the road. Keeping the commandments of Jesus is not simply a way for us to show our love for Jesus. It is a guide that He gives us to be able to love one another as well. Dahil kung tutuusin, hindi talaga para kay Jesus kung pahalagahan natin yung kanyang mga utos. It will be the simplest form of showing our love for Jesus and for our brothers and sisters. At kapag pinagkait pa natin yung pagmamahal na yon, ibig sabihin, hindi talaga tayo marunong sa tunay, na, sa tunay na diwa ng pagmamahal. Yun lang yung tanging habirin sa atin ni Jesus. Isipin din natin kapag hindi nasunod yung mga habilin na iyon. Isipin din natin kapag tayo yung naghahabilin at hindi, na, at hindi nasunod yung mga habilin natin. Ano kaya yung mararamdaman natin? Jesus may not feel the same way with us, but, defi- but definitely, it will not be His lost. It will ultimately be our lost if we do not know how to keep His commandments. Please stand. We profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He ascended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Heavenly Father has not left us as orphans. He has sent us the Holy Spirit. Let us make our common prayer in the power of that spirit of truth. For every intention, we will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that she may lead people to love Christ and to keep his commandments. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For all who govern and exercise authority, that they may bring peace and justice to the nations of the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For the salvation of the world, that the missionaries may banish darkness and despair from all hearts and minds. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For a new evangelization, that we may be able to share with others the reason for the hope we cherish. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For those who have gone before us in death, that they may be raised to the life of the risen Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. In a special way, we also pray for all mothers. We lift up to the Lord our own mothers, especially for the mothers who have gone ahead of us.
Father of all love, may the sacrifice we are about to offer on this altar ascend with our prayers to you and bring upon us your blessing and your peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life. 
and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is a ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed the Holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, up your sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, 
and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Matthias, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. one family we call to God our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold Jesus, our risen Lord. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you should, that you should enter, enter under, my under my roof, but only but say, say the word, the word and, my and my soul shall, shall be healed. healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of the saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Today is Mother's Day, and in a special way, we will pray and bless our mothers. If you are with your mother today, uh, may we ask you to put your right hand over her shoulder, or over her head. Kung may katabi po kayong nanay at wala po siyang kasama, kahit hindi po sana ang inyong gawin, we extend our right hands over our mothers and we pray for them. Let us pray. God of all fruitfulness, God of all holy women, of Sarah, Ruth, and Rebecca, God of Elizabeth, mother of John, of Holy Mary, mother of Jesus, listen to our prayer and bless the mothers and grandmothers gathered here today. Bless them with the strength of your spirit, 
They taught us how to stand and how to walk, how to speak, to play, and how to pray to you. Bless them with a place at their eternal dinner table. They fed us while we were still helpless, and later showed us how to feed ourselves. Bless them today with health and happiness, with joy and laughter, with pride in us, their children, and surround them with friends who are loyal and true. We also remember today the nameless women who, down through the ages, planted and harvested, cooked and baked, washed and cleaned, fed, clothed, and nursed the world. And finally, we ask you, God of all tenderness, to descend upon us all, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Palakpakan po natin ang ating mga nanay. Happy Mother's Day po sa inyong lahat. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Amen. 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 Amen.